Hi, this is Lauren Sanek with Castle Dream Real Estate bringing you Home Seller, Home Buyer Podcast. Thank you for joining us so you can learn about Home Seller Episode 17, Tips to Sell Your Home Faster to a Younger Buyer. Okay, let's get started with those tips to help you sell your home faster to a younger buyer. Educating clients about the audiences they will be marketing to is one of the most important things that can be done. When a seller puts their home on the market to sell, they should know that the next owner will likely be younger than they are. That's why they should stop thinking about what they like or want in a home and start thinking about what your most likely buyer will want. When preparing your home, Prior to putting it on the market for sale, here are some things to consider keeping the younger buyer in mind. 1. Stick with warm, neutral colors. If your target demographics is young professional or young family, try using a warm gray as a neutral wall color. The gold or pinky beige wall used 10 years ago is going to seem outdated to this new group of home buyers. On-trend neutrals like grays allow potential homeowners to envision bringing in complementary colors and clean lined furnishings to make it their own. The old rule of thumb used to be that sellers were supposed to paint their rooms white in order to appeal to all buyers. These days, white rooms tend to look boring, especially to younger buyers. Buyers like neutral colors other than white. Young buyers like Pottery Bond colors. Check out their stores or a catalog and you'll see the palette has soft earth tones, off-whites, beige, and pale gray. You don't want super personal color choices, but you can go with a neutral and a contrasting trim color. 2. Invest in white cabinetry. Many home buyers younger than 40 prefer white or off-white kitchen cabinetry. They don't want to see their mama's dark kitchen cabinetry in their new home. Consider a kitchen facelift if you have dark kitchen cabinetry with orange or red undertones. Benjamin Moore's Advance is a great paint to consider. It's a hybrid of latex and oil, and it requires very little prep work. 3. Update your appliances. Many younger home buyers cannot fathom buying a home without stainless steel appliances. You'll need to update your almond ones with stainless steel replacements before putting it on the market. 4. Look for simple stone countertops. Granite and stone countertops are a must-have for most young buyers. It will make the difference between whether they choose your home or your neighbor's home. But don't make the mistake of installing busy or taste-specific granite that may not appeal to everyone. If you plan to be in your home for a long time, go for it, but not if you plan to sell within the next few years. Instead, choose a granite that is almost black or something with a minimum of colors and veining. Anything more might be more turnoff to those picky, younger buyers. 5. Open up your shower space. Young professionals love large, open glass showers. The garden variety tub isn't where it's at anymore. 6. Keep it simple for families with children. People with young kids are less likely to want to fix their upper. If your target demographic is young family with small children, it's important that your property be ready for them to move in right now. Make sure the home has no unfinished projects or red flags for young families. 7. Consider selling your home as a fixer-upper. If your neighborhood has become a mecca for young professionals, there may be some appeal to the fixer-upper if the price is right. These younger adults without children may have the time, energy, and imagination for making over an older home. Even so, the price will have to be lower if that were picture-perfect. 8. The sellers should buy home warranties that cover repairs for the systems, electrical, plumbing, heating, and cooling, and appliances in the home. Most home warranties are available as a one-year policy and provide coverage while the property is on the market and after closing. A home warranty costs around $300 to $500 and reassures buyers that they won't be faced with a major repair expense in their first year of home ownership. 9. Younger buyers often are interested in schools even if they don't have children yet. Your marketing materials should mention everything that appeals to young couples and families such as the location near commuter routes or public transportation, swimming pools, tennis courts, a gym, nearby shops and restaurants. 
You need to think about what young buyers are most interested in and then market your house accordingly. If your home has a great yard or a prime location within a subdivision close to the elementary school or park, you should make sure that's highlighted in your marketing. 10. How can home sellers appeal to a younger generation of buyers? In today's economy, this demographic has been notoriously stingy when it comes to real estate, as many people would rather devote funds to student loans and other costs. However, that trend appears to be shifting slightly. Therefore, home sellers may soon get more young adults checking out their property with a unique set of preferences and desires. Before listing any house, owners should have a home inspection done to help alleviate any concerns about structural integrity and repair costs. Young males, females, differ on opinions. Even though the number of younger buyers is on the way up, men and women have different opinions when it comes to real estate according to Redfin. For instance, more than 85% of female buyers younger than 35 wanted a long-term residence, while only 73.8% of the male buyers agreed. In addition, men and women have different preferences when it comes to location. A slight majority of women want to live in suburbs, while only 47.2% of the men share that same sentiment. On the contrary, more men than women want to live in the city. Home amenities are also a point of debate for younger home buyers. Based on data, good schools and proximity to work are both priorities. However, women want access to public transportation and a house that will hold value for a long period of time. Men want restaurants, entertainment, and affordability. Help a home appeal to young buyers. Given the many unique preferences for younger Home buyers, sellers should make sure their properties appeal to this demographic. A property inspection could identify problems worth fixing and ensure that all improvements were completely corrected. Many young adults are afraid to commit to a house with a lot of costly repairs, according to Bankrate.com. Therefore, sellers can reduce their worries with some home improvements ahead of time. I always recommend paying for a home inspection, especially if the homeowners are elderly and have not had the money or energy to keep a house in good repair. An inspection will help determine if there's anything that absolutely must be done before putting the house on the market. With this step completed, sellers will have a report to give to potential buyers. If young people are concerned about the financial implications, a clean inspection can go a long way to assure them that they are making the right decision. Thank you for listening to Home Seller Episode 17. We are grateful for the time you have taken to listen to this podcast, and we look forward to your input on what you would like to hear about in future podcasts. You can find the show notes at homesellerhomebuyer.com, where you can leave your comments, questions, and suggestions there, or you can email us at info at homesellerhomebuyer.com. Don't forget to check out this episode's sponsor, Castle Dream Real Estate, at the website at CastleDreamRealEstate.com. If you're interested in buying or selling property in the greater Tampa area, or email them at info at CastleDreamRealEstate.com and let them know you heard about them on the Home Seller Home Buyer podcast. Tell your family, friends, and co workers about Home Seller Home Buyer. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to listen to the Home Seller Home Buyer podcast and catch us at the next episode. Thank you for listening so you can stay informed.